Hey guys, CubeHamster here and welcome to a new Redstone video. I, um, I plan on doing more uh, like progress videos. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel about that, but you know, it takes me quite some time to get to a finished product. And sometimes the in-between stuff is, you know, very interesting as well. Um, so this is an in-between video. I uh, released the uh, self-returning flying machine the other day, and I claimed that this might give, you know, the uh, this might be the step that will lead to automatic auto tunnel bore machines. Um, so this is a proof of concept of what I was talking about. Um, this is basically an, like an alteration on the uh, self-returning flying machine. And then this is a sort of spring extension thing uh, originally created by LXU and uh, modified by me. Um, and I like managed to hook them up together. And you get this uh, very cool proof of concept. Uh, so this thing starts flying uh, into into the cave. Uh, I color coded the blocks that I'm about to take just because the uh, the shape of the thing is actually oh, it's pretty important. But yeah, it jams in there and then it will return and it will take all the blue blocks uh, with, with it um, and it will actually go back into a state where I can launch it again. Uh, so the obsidian blocks is there to make sure that like all the pistons go back to the default state. Um, now, normally what you would do for the you know effect of mining the actual blocks is this thing would fly into a station, and then you, you would use you know slime blocks and stuff to remove all these glass blocks and process them uh, either with I don't know creepers or just put them in a giant block or whatever, uh, blow them up with TNT, maybe do a wither cage. Um, but yeah, you, like, you do something with the blocks. Now for now I just have a command block that deletes it. So like we mined, on this one trip we mined 23 blocks. Um, and then we fly again. And I like this thing, just, you know, fully reset on the way back. And hopefully we'll mine all the yellow blocks now. If all goes well. Now I have to like make a little cut out there so that it doesn't bump into the, the glass, but uh, that's just because this is a proof of concept. And then we take all the yellow blocks. Um, so now, now the point of this thing is that this spring system has to be, you know, twisted or like multiplied in a way where uh, the entire flying machine or the entire engine is flying behind the the drill head um, but it doesn't seem impossible so I think that this flying machine in general could be you know uh, more tight um, but yeah let's remove all the things again um, I can't go any deeper <laughs> uh, just because it's gonna bump into the side of the glass here um, but you guys kind of get the general idea so but this is this seems very workable to me um, so now it's just a matter of, you know, making the drill head in such a shape that it covers the entire front of the, uh, the engine. Uh, but it seems to work. Um, it has, I have to add though, like at the moment, what I'm going for is not going to be able to handle caverns or water or lava or obsidian. Obviously you can't handle obsidian. Like the, the thought of like that is even is ridiculous, uh, but not even caves and stuff. But I think for now that is completely irrelevant. I think the main fact is to get it into a state where it actually can drill an infinite tunnel through a block and figure out how to make the uh, station that unloads all the blocks and stuff. But like I've, you know, I've been messing with the uh, missile factory and that kind of uses similar mechanics so I'm not really worried about the station as much as I'm worried about you know making the drill head in a way that it completely covers the craft but like only slightly worried I think this this seems very possible um, so yeah progress video on the 
automatic tunnel bore machine. I'll probably make more of these as things progress. Um, but yeah, like let me know what you think of these progress videos. If you have any, any opinions on that, just put them in the comments. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit a like on the video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on tunnel boring goodness. See you guys. Bye-bye. Raw.